Today we're talking about radio buttons. And radio buttons, unlike check buttons, work in groups. When one radio button in the group is checked, the other radio buttons in the group are automatically unchecked. And what defines a radio button group? Question, answer, containers. And C sharp is containers. And C sharp containers include a flow layout panel, group box, panel, split container, tab control, and table layout panel. But unquestionably the most self-explanatory and useful container for radio buttons is the group box. So let's drag a couple radio buttons over to the the panel. Oh, that's a regular button. Here we go, radio button and we can copy that and paste it line these up and now if we just compile and run this save it first this automatically works and you're saying why would this work? Where is the container? And the answer is another container in C plus is the form itself. So if you only have three radio buttons you can just put it in the form and it'll work. But it's much more self-explanatory if we get a uh, group box out of the container group. Drag this over and give the group box some meaningful name like uh, GRB hair color and also a title like hair color or text like hair color And why this is so useful is you see the name, the text hair color actually appears in the group box. And if we give uh, meaningful text to the radio buttons like uh, brown and uh, Actually, these days it could be anything, but let's say black. And uh, say blonde. Hate to leave out redhead. And here's an important point. If I just drag this group box over these buttons, whoops. drag this group box over these buttons I just overwrite the buttons so that doesn't work <laughs> you won't even see the buttons so you need to move the group box to the side and then select each of these buttons in turn and just click and then control click or you could drag a rectangle over them and then pull them into the group box and then we could have a different group box with uh, eye color or whatever, you know, gender. And they would work independently. Maybe I should show that. Why don't I drag over another group box? And we'll call the text on this group box uh, eye color. And actually, except for blonde, we could use these guys. Do a select and then a shift select. Well, I guess shift select didn't work. I guess control select. And then do a copy. And then come over here and do a paste. And we want to change blonde to uh, say uh, hazel I 
Then we ought to change black to blue too. And now if we uh, save and compile this form, you notice brown is selected but brown isn't selected there and now both browns are selected and if I change this brown to hazel it has no effect on this list box because it's in a different container and the same way if I change this it has no effect on this list box because it's in a different container so that's the essential point I have to make about uh, uh, radio buttons they work with containers and if you understand that you'll understand how to use them uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot and don't forget to subscribe.